morning to another present here. Today we are going to see about some interesting present as known as straight leg rise. It's used for certain degrees which consist of certain diseases or conditions. Morning to another present here. Today we are going to see a straight leg rise special test. First of all, the important point, the patient position. The patient position is supine lying position. Supine lying, the knee is in fully extended position and hip is in rest position and head is in neutral position. And the aim of the test is to find the neurological structures are involved in the lower leg as well as the unilateral dysfunction of the sacroiliac joints. First of all, the knee is in excellent position. Pull the ankle with your left limb and have your left, 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 the, left the affected leg. We have to find some shooting pain present in this limb indicates that the 30 to 70 degrees of involvement of uh, this degree is any involvement of shooting pain is there, it indicates the sciatic nerve is involved. And uh, we have a certain degree increase in risk. The hamstring nerve tie, hamstring muscle tightness, due to hamstring muscle tightness, it is very difficult to lift. Next, we are going to see uh, some uh, two maneuvers in the ASLR test. The two maneuvers known as Braggart sign and Neary sign. In Braggart sign, I am going to perform now a Braggart sign. Braggart sign. The pain is the same as a supine lying position and the knee is in full extended position and next we hold the lower limb with your left hand the, hand the knee is in full extension we flex the tip down expel from the shooting pain we have increased the degrees and dorsiflex the ankle And next, and now I am going to do a knee sign. Knee sign, same as patient is in supine line position, have to hold the knee is in extended position and we have to flex the hip. We tell the patient to flex the neck in the chin tuck position. Chin tuck position to flex the hip. Now we are to see about neural tension and mobilization of the lower quadrants of the straight leg rise. It is also known as modification of straight leg rise. In this technique, same as the patient is in supine lying position, we have to hold the knee is in extended position, we have to flex the hip joint and this ankle, the dorsiflexion with devotion devotion more increased tension in the tibial drive. In this, the ankle dorsiflexion with inversion places tension in the sural nerve. And the ankle plantar flexion with the inversion takes tension in the common peroneal nerve.